what's up everybody it's me Erica I am I just came on just real quick I don't know why I came on but I've been feeling very um anxious not anxious yeah anxious like um combative I look a mess I know I do it's the end of the day <laughs> so you will deal <laughs> Girl, look at this beanie. <laughs> I need to dye my hair one more time because it's still too, I don't like this. I need to dye it one more time and I need to um, cut it because it's too long. Anyway, so I just came on here because yesterday I was feeling like heck of combative. Today I was feeling kind of like just exhausted. Um, and I don't know why, but I am ill. Things I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about like, okay, so I'm a student and of life, I feel like I am because I love to study. I love to seek and gain knowledge, right? I'm the hermit. I love to seek the knowledge and get the knowledge and sit with myself. And, you know, I have so many notebooks. It's just crazy. And I'm always studying. I'm always reading. Like last night, I did all of my numerology and I have like I'm nine like when I tell you nines across the board bitch I am nines across the board I just been really trying to look for someone who has more knowledge of knowledge than me who will help me feel comfortable in sharing the knowledge that I've acquired now the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, you guys keep asking me for an astrology series and I keep procrastinating. And the reason why I'm procrastinating is because I don't feel like I am knowledgeable enough to share information in that capacity. Like I have my, what do you call high level knowledge? And I don't feel like I am qualified to you know, and I know it's all for fun and everything like that, but I take that kind of stuff very seriously and I don't want anybody, I want, if I'm going to be talking to you and sharing with you things, I want to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. Charles is going to get on me because Charles always says that I'm always like, I want to get everything right. And it's, you're never going to get everything right all the time. You're never going to please everybody right all the time, but I'm trying to look for like a mentor or someone who is more knowledgeable than I and also who is not arrogant in their knowledge. You know, a lot of the times you come across people, like I watch people and I watch people who know more than me, but then I get turned off because I'm like, you're so arrogant. And you're... Anyways, I got a call, so... Um, so yeah, so I'm looking at people and I watch people because I'm like, okay, I'm looking for a teacher, right? And when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So maybe me saying this is the reason, part of the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like me sitting there watching people and like, I was wanting to choose a mentor and I'm just like, I watch people like I, I'm watching this astrologer who is really 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 smart like he's been he does stuff he was on Netflix you know what I'm saying and him and I have a rapport um he was on the Netflix special about astrology he is an astrologer and he's just really fucking smart and him and I have a rapport and so I was looking at him and then I was looking at someone who is into Aoife and who is a Aoife priestess actually and watching them but then I'm like more of an like my interests are more in cosmology and astrology and more of the stars and symbols and things like that that's where I am I, I am fed the most right like I study I you know like right now I'm taking a course on di di divination um, practices in different cultures and so so that's really and the one that interests me the most was about the Mayan calendar and the and the Mayan astrology and the, how the Mayans um, use divination and that was the one that 
I really felt connected to. And so I'm in these, you know, these different, you know, videos, watching videos of different people on YouTube and I'm going and I'm researching, I'm looking at, I'm seeing how I feel when I look at them and stuff like that because I really, I, and even, even last night when I was like doing my numerology and it's all like, you're a teacher, you know, your words and you know, it's all what I do now, but I want to be more helpful um, to us and to our community. And I want to be able to, you know, not only talk about, like I said, the ratchet shit and then, but also talk about some righteous shit. And I know I kind of like mix stuff together and mix those things together. Um, I just want to be, I just want a teacher. That's all. And like, can you believe it? A Virgo is asking for a teacher girl. Yes, she is. And like I said, I, I've been watching some people and watching, I was watching this one guy, but then I felt like He's very, um, he was very, um, I don't want to say arrogant, just overly confident in his knowledge. And I think that as a teacher, you want to, you want people to be receptive to you. And in my profession, I am essentially a teacher. So I understand how it is to and you know, when I first started teaching, I like, oh, I have all this knowledge, but it doesn't help if the person is not receptive. If the people are not receptive because of your haughtiness, right? Then they're not going to, none of the information that you're giving them, they're gonna retain it because they're trying, like when you have a layer of arrogance about you or an air of arrogance about you, and I can't get with that. And, and I, it's probably my arrogance that's keeping me from actually, you know, going forth and like, okay, Erica, do your astrology series. But then I'm, at the same time, I'm like, I'm not about to talk to y'all and give y'all information and the shit ain't right. I'm just, that's just not me. That's just not me. And that has been a hindrance in different aspects of my life because I want to have all the information like in true Virgo fashion. I want to have all the information. And so I am looking for a teacher and a mentor. So I'm just looking for that. And just, this is, this was just on my mind. And I figured I was like, you know what, let me just make a video about it because I feel like I want to, when it's, okay. So I was watching this guy and I was like, oh, he'll be a good mentor. But then I was like, okay, he's kind of arrogant. And I want to be able to learn from you, but now I don't want you to, I don't want, I don't want you to make me feel dumb. And that's another Virgo shit. Don't, don't talk to me like I'm dumb. You know, don't talk to me like I'm stupid or none of that stuff. Like don't do it because I'm not going to be able to learn from you. Um, I'm not, I'm, I, I teeter on tough love and like, you know, encouraging love when it comes to teaching. Like, I want you to be hard on me. I want you to push me to be the be best, but I don't want you to be like, you know, you gotta, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't respond well to that kind of like, ah, 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 you know? So I just been thinking about that. And then I'm also thinking about, I'm incorporating more. Um, so yeah, let me get back to that. So I was watching this guy. I was like, okay, what do, what is the next thing that I want to study in terms of spirituality right and that's all it is and and I and like to me astronomy astrology ast you know numerology oh come on what are you doing why would you stop short like that so somebody can hit you can you move up a bit god fucking move up why you stop short like that almost hit the back of your shit you stupid bitch I need to work on my, I'm on my spiritual journey. So that's what I want. So, so then I was like, like I said, so I took this divin, I'm, ta I'm in the process of taking this divination course, bitch, fuck you. I'm ta in the middle of taking this divination course. And the one that stood out to me the most was, you know, I was like, okay, cause if I take this course that gives me, it's basically just doing a history on different divination practices in different parts of the world, right? And the one that, like I said, that stood out to me the most or resonated with me the most, the one that I took the most notes on was the Mayan traditions and using symbols to, you know, to 
gain insight on the next steps and things like that. So that really stood out to me. And then, but the girl that I, I really wanted to do the mentorship, I, I, I don't, I don't even know, like I start, I want to do a mentorship, but then I'm like, <sighs> I feel, I don't want to say like it's a scam. I don't, you need a mentor period you need somebody who has more knowledge than you to help you with your next steps but i don't want to feel like i'm getting scammed you know what i mean i don't want to feel like that i don't know what it is and there's this one girl and i was trying to find her video today and she was talking and i'm going to look into her courses that she has i can't remember her name and i'm not even subscribed to her she came up on my television you know i watched YouTube on my TV, but I'm not logged in because I don't want all like I want to be able to search without having recommended or whatever. And she came up in my in, you know, in my search and I was like, I watched a video of hers and she has a beautiful energy, beautiful spirit. And it's more about the, the stars and, and the planets. I'm more into cosmology than anything. And I don't know too, too many black folks into cosmology so that's what i'm saying you understand what i'm saying so whatever anyways i'm here to pick up my son i'll come back probably later all right peace